What I'm saying, though, is would you say he need to come off the bench? No. Okay. No, Kev, Steph Curry is a star. Okay. On a good day and a bad day. On a good day and a bad day. He's human. Okay. Okay? Right. But he's still a star. Right. He, I'm going to ride him until the wheels fall off. Okay. Marcellus. I, I, I do want to ask you this. Why are you a weak link, my can't, can't, Could the Golden State Warriors won the championship without Kevin Durant? Your comment, sir. I don't know a whole lot, but I don't think that would be the case. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, not a problem. We're going to move on to the last topic of conversation. Conversation is this. Mr. Hodge, yes, sir, Craig, there's a scenario. One scenario. You and Craig, multi-millionaires. Multi? Multi. More than one. More than one. Ooh. 20, 30, 40 million dollars. got 30 M's. You, 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 you loaded. Liquid. Okay? <laughs> you in a fruitful relationship, whether you married or you just been in a long-term relationship with your girlfriend or fiance. Is there a prenup? No prenup. Okay? <laughs> You and Craig out on the town Craig one night. Mm -hmm. Yep. Two bad honeys. I mean, blood roll. Bad. Craig driving or I'm driving? Uh, we're going to let you be the driver. I'm driver. All right. I'm uh, in, I, 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 am I in the ghost? You're in the ghost. Okay. You're in the ghost, baby. Casper. You, you Casper. White. Right. She knows who you are. She knows me, but I don't know her. you in the club. Okay, which club? Uh, let's, nice club. A nice club. Nice club. K.O.D. <laughs> okay, y'all in the KO there. Okay, okay. live. <laughs> K to the O to the D. <laughs> You're at the Cheesecake Factory. You eyeballing her, they all they eyeballing you guys. Before the night is over, you guys go home together. You have a sexual encounter. You get her pregnant. Craig got her pregnant. I ain't gonna get her pregnant. You got her pregnant. <laughs> You and Craig got babies on the way, okay? Right. How much should the maximum amount be to any female mm -hmm. for a multi-million dollar guy getting her pregnant? Now, for me, for you, I say. Let me ask you the question, because you yes. like to ask the questions and then answer them. Yes, sir. So I'm going to ask you, Mr. Yes, Shazir. Yes, sir. How much do you think a young lady should be entitled to yes. if she happens to have a child right. from an individual who happens to be much more wealthier than she is? Okay. In my opinion, whether it's Bill Gates' money or whether it's, uh, you know, a guy that just has a million-dollar contract, mm -hmm. Okay. I think the, maxim, the maximum any person should be made to pay in child support, the maximum, I don't quite agree with this amount, but if you just stupid Tiger Woods, Michael mm -hmm. Jordan Rich, $10,000 a month should be the maximum that any female should get, no matter how rich you are. I say 5000 but I'm going to go, if you stupid rich, 10000 because... The female can't possibly convince me that $10,000 is not enough money for her to take care of my child. That money is going to be spent in her riding in Rolls Royces and, and, and uh, uh, Range Rovers, and she's going to be staying in 5,000 square feet. That's my opinion. I got a question for you, Mr. Shays. Oh, I got one. Mr. Shays, it? Yes, sir. There's a significant difference between a Bill Gates. Uh huh. Tiger Woods. Yes. And possibly somebody who is just a millionaire. Yes. Okay, you're talking about billions. Right. So I'm quite, I'm trying to understand how do you put the same parameters yes. on a billionaire right. and somebody who is just two million strong. Because okay. Because there's such a significant difference. Okay. So I'm trying to understand how do you rationalize and say this individual who signed a million dollar contract in one year and the individual who has $62 billion okay. should pay the same amount of money in child support. Here's, here's my answer to that, Craig. Cap. Right. Well, no matter how much money it has, it's a cap. Right. I, I, Here. I, I, I think cap. that's what he was getting at. Right. right. I want a cap. cap. All right. Whether, but how do you, whether you 62 two billion, billion or one, one, two million, million is 10,000. It, 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 it determines later on, but he's saying, I think he's trying to say, 
Right. But but I don't think. Fifteen. But see, think about this now. <clears throat> Let's say I have a family. I have two other kids, three other children mm -hmm. who live with me. Are they yours? Yes, they're my kids. Okay. okay. Are your are they yours from that young lady? No, I have a family. I have they, another family. Okay, so that that one kid that you done got over She's there from, is separated. Yes, it's separated. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So now me and my family, we live over here on the intercoastal. Mm-hmm. In a $30 million mansion. Okay. Okay. Right. So our standard of living is very different mm -hmm. from where that young lady's standard of living is. Very mm -hmm. different. Okay. okay. So now I have my three boys. Yes. With my wife. Right. And then I have this one boy mm -hmm. with this young lady. Right. So now should my son right. from her right. not have the same standard of living than these other three boys? Absolutely. But let me say this, Hodge. Craig, you're a former pro athlete. Have you ever been on child support before? Yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> Let me say this. Yes. If you're giving a young lady $10,000 a month, all right? Now, we're not going to deal with St. Lucie County. We're going to deal with Broward County, okay? <laughs> in Broward County, and there's plenty of Broward County guys in the room, if I put her in a gated community, she got a four-bedroom, four-bath home, I put her in a brand new Range Rover. The kid is in private school. So if I put her in a $2,500 a month house, I pay $800 a month for her Range Rover. I pay $13,000 a year for my kid to be in private school. I pick him up every other weekend or every weekend to mingle with my other children. Okay. That's around $5,000 a month. Okay, what is she going to do with the remaining 5000 that has to do with my kid? Same question I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to know that question. Um, should there be a cap, Craig? I think there should be a cap. Um, or I, I think there should be some kind of agreement where if the mother's not using all the money somewhere, the, that money's been put aside for that kid use. Right. Somehow that kid is spent on that kid, not on her and her nails and hair. And, you know, they're going to do that. But also, that money should be set aside purposely for that kid use or for whatever that, you know, that kid needs, financial, whatever. Okay, Craig. We're um, talking about money management. Right. But yes, instead of just, you know, letting it spend it. Maybe, yes, right. Then put it away for the kid, have it put away for whatever reason, a rainy day or college or whatever they may be. I would okay. agree with you, but I think you run into trying to justify the standard of living that I have and the standard of living that he has. Now, now if that's an equal standard of living, Hans. If if I have one hundred percent custody, right, right, his standard of living is totally different to me than it is to her. Right. So I think sometimes what happens is in the court of law is that they begin to try to balance out the standard of living. It should not necessarily have to decline okay. when he leaves from my home, my right. presence, my dwelling, and go into that other situation. And I think that's why we run into those conversations pertaining to what is equal and what is right. Okay, Haas, wait. Craig, you're a former NFL player. You've traveled from city to city. You know what it is like in the back room, all right? Is there not females that they whole job in life is to target you guys and get pregnant from y'all? Yes, they're, they're <laughs> or whatever you want to call them, groupies or whatever young lady they are. That that happens. Um, I experienced it. I you know I didn't think it was true until it actually happened to me. I right. actually saw it happen. And um, yes, that is true. Um, but one thing I want to ask the young ladies: the question is. Why do we have to put a price on a kid's life? Uh, why do we have to uh, have such a price, you know, for a kid's life? A kid should be worth more than that. Worth, I mean, no matter how much you pay a child support, that kid is worth more than that. To me, my kid is worth more than that. So to put a price on a kid's head like some of these women do right. with these men and put them on child support, right. I don't think that's right either. What? Um, to put a price on a kid. Um, so maybe... Somehow, uh, I don't know what's the solution. Maybe one day, uh, hopefully, they get a solution where women can sit down with the man and both parents sit there and do what's best for that child instead of 
mingling and tuggling and, and, and wrestling with each other and trying to put a price tag on the kids' heads when all we want to do is kids to learn to, to be in a healthy and loving environment. Rob. I, think, I, 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 I just heard something that Sherry said, and I think that's the problem right there. Uh, the, the, the mother and the father don't sit down and talk and just iron all these issues out, you know, and just say, hey, you know, I know you got your family over there. You know, like Sister Hard said earlier, you got your family over there. They live in, in a, a waterfront mansion and whatnot. And here I am over here living like that. But at some point, she has to realize, I can't live, live like exactly she. like this. Right. Why? Because I don't live with him. Okay. And whose money is it? Well, it's not about... Oh, oh yes, no, it is. It, oh, it, yes, it, it is. is. But see, see, now, you, you go in the option of where Craig is fixed. No, that's you not the opposite of what Craig... Okay. And, see, now, you said, oh, here's my money. Absolutely. I understand you work for it. Well, but see, you... How is it that... So how, know, wait, no, how no, is no, it, no, Rob, no. that you got girls like Tiger Woods' wife, okay? They've been married five, six years, okay, seven years. They get a divorce because he done went out and got him some looky on the side. And she get a hundred and ninety something million dollars? I mean, did she swing a golf club? I mean, I'm trying to understand. That, I mean, is she entitled to a hundred and ninety something million because she got a couple of kids? I understand that. Right. There's not it's gonna be any irrational. You say that's my money. Hey, wait, wait, Rob. I know you the one who wanted to go. Marcellus, listen. If you got three hundred million dollars and you paying a female ten thousand dollars a month in child support, is she entitled to Willie Gary type child support numbers? Twenty three, twenty four thousand dollars a month. Because she has a child from you. What what, what can my child not do with that type of money a month? What lifestyle can... Okay, what does a child really need? Okay, a child is not like us that, that, that we chase after every fetish that we, we can dream of. A child don't really know if he broke or not, to tell you the truth. So I'm just trying to understand, it is my money. I made that money, so... The problem I have with the females is they feel like it's their money. See, well, it like always e like equates to this is our money. money. Right. <laughs> okay, because, uh, okay, why is it our money? Uh, because I'm your wife. I'm your, okay, did you, how much did you help me get of this? Uh, well, see, see, uh, Reece, see, okay. see, my brother. My brother. Yes. There are certain mm -hmm. laws, whether you agree with them or not, that are in place. Yes. We have to understand the laws. We right? understand the laws. That's why when we're you, at this conversation. When you decide to marry somebody, uh huh, what's yours becomes theirs, and what's theirs becomes yours, unless you have this prenuptial agreement. Okay. okay. If you are in a position where you're wealthy, and you say to yourself, if something happens to happen, uh -huh. I do not feel as if I should have to give you a portion, half, whatever the law states. Because. Whatever the law states, then I got to make sure that you understand that, that I understand that. Okay. And that there's a mutual agreement, and it's not just verbal, it's in writing. Okay? Okay. And secondly, that's very important. Now, if you cannot come to terms. Yes. If she does not agree and you do not agree, then you might not need to coexist. Okay. So I don't blame all of it on the female. Absolutely not. I blame some of it on us. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we made that decision we, to say, you know what? I want you to be my lawfully, say it again, my what? Lawfully, lawfully wedded. Lawfully wedded wife. <laughs> so right there, I just had to succumb to the laws of the land. What if you're not married? Well, if you're not married, they have laws for that, too. Okay, now, so, that being so the case. All I'm saying is, before right. you go out and get involved in all of these felonious relationships, uh -huh. we got to make sure that you understand the repercussions of the decisions that you're making at the point in time. And then when it happens and you got to deal with the repercussions,
repercussions of that decision, like, man. Right. But we should have thought about that, man, before we got involved. Okay. So sometimes we make irrational decisions, and then when certain things happen, we don't want to have to deal with the repercussions. Absolutely. And I agree. In the, in the event that you and Craig are not married. Okay, we're not married. There's no prenup. No prenup. Because the purpose of the prenup is to protect your assets. So you already going into it saying, nah, just in case this don't work out, I ain't finna let this here chick take all my stuff. Right. You already going in it with the mindset right. there's a possibility that you can get took, right? It's a possibility. But now you don't have a prenup. Okay. This was just a fling. Okay. This was a fling. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I understand you're going to lean toward the female side and say that, well, we should have known what we was doing. We should, you don't think we should? Well, I, okay, she know what she doing. I can't, I can't control nobody but me. Okay. I can only be responsible for me. So that being at the, the case, end of the day, yes, I cannot point my finger at somebody else for a decision that I made as an adult. Okay. I put myself in that position. So, so that if it don't work out to the way that I wanted it to, it's my fault. Okay, so to end this topic mm -hmm. and to end the show tonight, should a female be allowed to roam the scale and what she get what for child mean? support? Oh, roam. Well, see, I don't think that's her decision as well. I think that's that's law. And I think oftentimes we're talking about laws. Right. We we we're talking about should she be able to go in front of a judge mm -hmm. and predicate it upon how much you are worth. The judge should be able to say, uh, Mr. Hodge, now you talking that junk and trash right now about mm -hmm. you should know what you're doing, you but what if the judge tell you to pay that girl 50 stacks a month? I, I gotta, you ain't going to be sitting calm no, and cool I'm, and collective I'm not, and over I'm here. I'm going to talk to my attorney and see if <laughs> Okay, <can> wait, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, this has been Barbershop Talk. This is our time, the hottest new show on the planet. I want to thank my co-host, Mr. Craig Swope and NFL Great. I want to take my boy, Mr. Daryl Hodge. My name is Mr. Hodge, and I'm a youth motivator. No, I'm not a drug with a mind simulator. Yeah. My barber, <laughs> Mr. Robert Adams in the house. And barber number two, Mr. Marcellus Walker in the building. Salute. This is Barbershop Talk saying salute, peace, love, and God bless. <laughs>